and folks we are here for the funeral service of Miss Massima Noel, one of our oldest lady living in Carrier Queen to the Martinic, Grenada by extension, who bid farewell to her today.
They will be singing just now, don't worry. Just waiting on the priest. So bear with us. They will be singing. So just mute the microphone for now that you can still view.
so folks we know you won't hear anything i mute the microphone because of the wind so we are waiting on the priest to come so be with us thank you
Yes, folks, as we say, we are still waiting for the priest to arrive. In the meantime, the microphone will be muted because of the noise and the wind. So, don't think you're not hearing sound. I'm controlling the sound, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And folks, just a reminder or a brief piece of information that the coffin or the casket will be lowered in the hole as soon as Lacroix gets here. That's why he's sitting there because of the COVID regulation. He's not allowed to stay up on the surface. So they lower it into the hole and then they do the service. So it's part of the protocol now special COVID death related then the coffin or the casket will be lower in the hole as soon as the horse get here. And feel free at this moment folks to post your memory about Mass Man. You know we know she was the oldest lady living in karaoke. 119 years. Wow, what a milestone it is. So we are waiting for the priest. In the meantime, hey, post your comment, post your memory of her, or your family's memory of her, or things like that. <laughs> I think she is starting to cover herself. She's, she's starting to cover herself. She <laughs> might say this is nonsense. <laughs> so she, she's starting to cover herself. What a lady. <laughs> Yes, Sasha, definitely she would have been taking 120. Yeah. 
Don't worry, folks, no eames yet because we're still waiting on the priest, so no eames as yet. There will be eames, folks. Patience. And we're in the Harveyville Cemetery. Don't know if you guys could see there's another grave there for a man in Belmont. Yeah. Has to be buried there. We're in the Harveyville Cemetery. Mm. Lightning thunder. She says she's a star watch, giving her the summer rain, plant fruits and vegetables. Or is there a government school in the background? I make it. Everybody was excited that that was the priest. It's a taxi passing by. No, Father. Come. <laughs> Father, we wait five more minutes. This match, you know, that covers itself, you know. Mm -hmm. That is a woman of class. Okay, so folks, the priest is here, so we'll get this service on the way. Once again, condolences to the family, friends of Miss Massima. 119 
Alright, so we shall begin by having a few words said after what we Reverend Father, sisters, <laughs> Reverend Father, sisters, members of Cosmatima's family, ladies and gentlemen, today we congregate to pray for our dear sister who is to be buried. Burying a family member is never easy. And in difficult times like these, it becomes much more challenging. I wish at this time to share with you a few sentiments about our, of our dear sister. Leonora Noel, better known as Matima or Cosmatima, affectionately called Mama by many, was born in Venezuela on 10th December, 1901. She came to Caracu as a child and lived with her family at Leste throughout her childhood and teenage years. Then she went to live at Grand Bay, Caracu. There was an incident which resulted in the loss of that home by far. It was there that Cousin Massima lost her document. She returned to Leste found a house which she made home and her dwelling until her passing. Who was Mama? She was short, well-built, physically strong and intelligent. She was ambitious, industrious, and energetic without any formal employment. She then embraced farming. She cultivated many gardens of corn, peas, groundnuts, potatoes, and more. She also raised cattle, goats, and pigs. Cosmatima continued her farming into her late 90s. Food from her garden and farm did not only feed herself and family, but also many neighbors, friends, and strangers was generous. With all her family well-being at hand, she still found time to help people in the community with their laundry and baking. She was considerate and helpful. Mama was amazingly sociable, hilarious, and goofy. Anyone young or old held great conversations with her. She also had an amusing joke to share. However, there were times when the sarcasm overwhelmed. Cousin Massima was modest, courageous, and fearless. However, she feared God. When she was strong, she never missed Sunday mass. And even when she, we thought she was too weak, she still made her way to church. She was a parent, grandparent, great grandparent, great great grandparent. She must have been an exceptionally wonderful mother that her daughter Ruth, into her 90s, lived with her until her passing. And that Ruthie nearly made her name in the Guinness Book of Records. She was just outside of the record of 96 years she living with the mother. The person with the record is 96. Cousin Massey married four children at a time when employment was, unemployment was high and pay was low. She was a responsible parent who made ends meet. 
Juliano Randwell was recognized by the Queen in 2014. She won the heart and love of many, including Pastor Carlos Luis Pagas, founder of the Freeport Bible Church in the USA, Mrs. Elaine in the USA, Dorothy L. Brooksby in the USA, and many others. She was a super gifted person. Whenever she had a dream, it was as true as daylight. If Cousin Massima dreamt you're dead, please call Lakwa. <laughs> Leonora Massima Noel died on 24 September. Left to more, two daughters, Ruth Bristol in Karaku and Leonora Olga Pope in England. Grandchildren, Augustus Charles in Karaku, Gibson George, Teresa Jacob, Kellersford, and Shirley Bristol in the United States. Maureen, Sandra, Glenda, Angela, Stephanie, and Sasha. Great grandchildren, one in Garaku, four in Grenada, three in Trinidad, four in Tortola, five in the US, seven in England. Great great grandchildren in Garaku, Trinidad, and USA. Friends, family, Dorothy L. Kuski in the USA, Pastor Carlos Luis Vargas, founder of the Free Port Bible Church in the USA, Elaine in the USA, all her caregivers, neighbors, and friends. Family, the Caton, Lender, Gay, Noel, Joseph, Dick, Plenty, Bristol, David, and Benjamin Curry. May she rest in peace. And on behalf of all of us, we extend our greatest condolences to the family. Yes, Lord. Great immediate family. Uh, there is a grandson there. We have a song. If you just do one verse of a song, I think a verse or two to start with. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and prayers to What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning again, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry to be that late. Hopefully I won't keep you too long. You have to watch the weather also. 
Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation. He comforts us. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. I bless the body of our sister, Massima Theodora Noel, with holy water, which recalls her baptism, of which St. Paul writes, all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, you were buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised, we too may receive eternal life. My dear brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death, and by rising, has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray, therefore, for our sister Maxima, that she may share in Christ's victory. Let us pray also for ourselves, that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. So we pray for relatives, daughter, grand and great grand and great great. We ask that God to be with them as they mourn the passing, those here and those away. And as we are aware, the daughter is not well herself in hospital. We ask that God to be with them at this time as they are not able to be here to say goodbye to mom. Console them, strengthen them in their faith in you. Let us. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery your servant, Leonora Noel, who has gone to her rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We'll now listen to a short reading from one of the family members. of the unwise, they did appear to God. Their going looked like a disaster. They are leaving us like annihilation, but they are in peace. If they experienced punishment as men feast, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction, great will their blessings be. God has put them to the test and prove them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace, and accepted them as a holy cup. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over people, and the Lord will be their king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those who have sinned. He has saved. This is the word of God. 
Lord, my shepherd. Philippians chapter 3 20. Our true home is in heaven, and Jesus Christ, whose return we long for, will come from heaven to save us. Alle, alle, alle. the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 14 from verse 1 Jesus said to his disciples do not let your hearts be troubled have faith in God and have faith also in me in my father's house there are many dwelling places if there were not would I have told you I'm going to prepare you a place and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come back again to take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. 
Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Brothers and sisters, we gather to bid farewell to a friend, someone who means so much to us as a community, as a village, one who, who left a very deep mark on our lives. You would have known him all your life. Oh. Sorry, you would have known her. You would have known her all your life. And you know that she <coughs> has gone ahead of us. That our trust and hope is that the Lord who have decided to call her to himself may truly make that way and welcome her. She lived a full life. A life, as we heard from the eulogy, a life pleasing to God. And she did all she could to make a difference in our community. She was a role model for many, an example to follow in generosity and kindness. My prayer is that as we say goodbye to her, that we may imitate the good attribute of her life. Be able to take some of her good character, some of her good quality, and live it ourselves. We are here for one another. We are here to support and encourage each other. And the life that we live here has its influence on one another. That's why we are supposed to live good lives that will have great positive effect on each other. So may the Lord help us to continue to walk the, the right path, the road that is pleasing and acceptable in his sight. We know it's a difficult road, but not impossible. Not impossible. By God, with God on our side, we can make it. So pray for the humility, pray for the grace to let go and let God. And COVID is teaching us just that. You know that we go within seconds. Within seconds, we are no more. And making it more difficult, we cannot be there for each other to console. Physically, we cannot be there. We cannot give that shoulder to lean on, of which is part of our culture, it's part of who we are, to lean on each other's shoulders, to tap and to embrace and to hug and to moan is difficult at this time. Brothers and sisters, let us do all within our power to live a life that is pleasing and acceptable in his sight. Our sister is today, any one of us could be tomorrow. So let us please God in spirit and in truth, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Your response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. For Leonora Noel, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may not be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may one day see God's face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For her children, grandchildren, and great and great grand. We ask God to be with them and you, the relatives and friends and neighbors, as you mourn the passing of Salwa, one who lived an exemplary life to the community, good role model. As you mourn her passing, may the Lord console you, just as he did at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us assembled here to worship this morning as we say goodbye, that the word of God and his message may truly take root and bring about a change in our mentality and disposition. Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength. You listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed sister. Cleanse her of her sin and grant her the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Into your hands, merciful Father, we commend our sister Leonora in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have, Christ, who have died in Christ, buried with him on the last day. We give you thanks, Lord for the blessings you have bestowed upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Saints of God, come to her aid, hasten to meet her angels of the Lord. Respond, receive her soul and present her. May Christ who call you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Because God has chosen to call our sister Leonora from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth, the deep elements of his resting place. For you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen from the dead. Let us commend our sister to the Lord, that he may embrace her in peace and raise a body on the last day. God of holiness and of power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant Eleonora Noel and do not count her deeds against her, for in her heart she desired to do your will. As the faith united her to your people on earth, so may your mercy join her to the angels in heaven. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. Amen. May she rest in peace. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the love of God and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Go ahead now. So we'll have a next one at the bottom.
Okay, folks, we thank you for viewing. May Massina Noel rest in eternal peace. Say goodbye to a long standing stalwart, 118 years old. We say thank you for viewing and may the souls of the faithful departed rest in eternal peace and condolences to the family and friends of Miss Massima. We say thank you, thank you, thank you for viewing. This is where we end the life. Folks, remember to share this with your family, share with your friends, like, comment, so that others can see family members and friends be laid to rest in this COVID time. We thank you. No, he died from, he died home. Oh.